Tanky Online launched in 2009. Successfully. Alternativa Games pulled off a pay to win game that was just fair enough to be fun if you didn't pay for it. Millions of people loved to do epic stunts with their tanks, shoot stuff and get mercilessly annihilated for being poor. After this initial success, the developers thought, surely we can further improve Tanky Online now that we have money. They could not further improve Tanky Online. This is how Tanky Online went from being as popular as PewDiePie to empty lobbies and a dead community. Once, Tanky was a game for real legends. You could throw away your mouse. All you really needed was your skill, your keyboard and the funny numbers on your dad's credit card. This is how the game looked back then. Wacky for today's standards. But this was a browser game and more than 10 years ago. If they had kept the game like it was back then, it would never have died like it did. In this flash game, you could choose between a tank, a tank and sometimes even a tank. Yeah, you had no choice. It's a game about tanks. But by 2010, you could already select different weapons, colors and hulls. These hulls reached from... A fine boy. To... Oh lord, he coming! But they weren't as important or as cool as the weapons. Tanky Online wasn't like other games based on tanks. War Thunder, for example, is extremely realistic. Up to the point that someone actually leaked classified military information in a discussion about whether a model in the game was true to the real world model or not. This would never happen in Tanky. No one would question whether the weapon Izida is realistic or could actually be built. Of course there's a weapon out there that automatically harms enemies and repairs your team's tanks when they get in contact with it. There's simply no question if that's true to life. But the best weapon was Railgun. This relatively small gun could shoot a concentrated laser beam that hit hard. Oh, that's a lot of damage! And it also had tons of recoil. For the one shooting and for the one being shot. Because of that, in 2011, that recoil ushered in the great era of tanky online parkour videos. Parkour! So far, everything was still good. The next year, I played my first game of tanky online. Next thing I knew, me and my friends spent every living second playing it. I specifically remember one night where me and a friend drank liters of cola because I had heard somewhere that caffeine keeps you awake so we could secretly play all night and not get tired. Didn't work. As you see, we quite enjoy Tanky Online. What we didn't know though was that we were actually witnessing the last months of the game at its peak. For us, it was just fun to play. Mainly there was capture the flag and control points. In theory, there were other game modes, but they were just... The key aspects of every match were driving around in your tank, shooting evil tanks and ranting about incompetent teammates. Solid experience, can't complain. Usually you had to have a good team to win, which happened like never. And that's why I loved capture the flag so much. Because even when your mates were utter garbage, which they always were, you could still earn some points by sneaking around and playing clever. Control points was different. You had to control certain areas with your team, which was very skill based. Or rather, wealth based. And with that, we get to Tanky Online's problems and downfall. The more you played, the more experience points you got. Lots of experience unlocked new items you could buy. So the more you played, the more items were available in your store. But you still had to buy them. So you just took your dad's credit card. No, no, you didn't have to pay real money to win in Tanky. Instead, you could just collect crystals that fell from the sky. Usually 10 per box. And sometimes, when the gods were feeling gracious, they dropped a gold box. A gold box was worth a hundred normal crystal boxes and one being dropped usually meant two things. One, everyone on the entire map rushed to the point where it landed and there was a huge massacre. Two, the one who then got the gold box, usually through poor undeserved luck, he would always upload a low quality gold box captured video on YouTube with the background song, Welcome to the Club Now. Why did they do it? I don't know, it was a law back then. So, if you had farmed lots of crystals, 
You could not only spend them on better equipment, but you could also drug yourself. Drugging was the most disrespectful sh** any player could do. You could press a few keys and make it so your tank was like I'm stronger, I'm smarter, I'm better, I am better. But the drugs would cost you crystals. You could temporarily make your tank way stronger and annihilate everything, but in turn it would take you longer until you could afford your next upgrade. Unless you paid for crystals with real money. Oh my god! The worst thing in any lobby, aside from the incompetence of your teammates, were enemies who were full drugged all the time because they had an unlimited supply of drugs and that's money. You could do nothing. This was already common around 2013 and made it hard to enjoy the game. But aside from this, the rest of the game, the matches, the weapons, the grind, the concept were cool. And then Tanky Online really got bad. Pay to win. They should have gotten rid of it or nerfed it. The game was enjoyable, but you had two choices if you wanted new gear. Either grind for 10 hours or spend $5. Of course you didn't buy the new gear the first time you saw the offer, but still you wondered. Just what if? You could have this Firebird M3 upgrade right now. You wouldn't have to farm crystals. After seeing the offer many times, you buy into it, just to try it. One time can't really hurt, can it? And damn did it hurt. Because you saw how easy it could be to get that new weapon. Just a few bucks. In comparison, your efforts were ridiculous. Of course, five dollars are five dollars. No, not like that. I mean, it's still money you had to earn in real life. But farming crystals for 10 hours seems stupid if you could have the same result for just $5. By 2014, most players had at least put some money into the game. And when the tanky developers got wind of this, they thought most players? Some money? That's not enough. So they came up with further improvements to the game. Upgrades, people! Upgrades! The studio then published some updates that weren't well received by the community at all. It usually went like this. New update. Check it out. Who? Us, the tanky developer team. We made it for you, the community. Cares. Seriously, thanks for the effort. But we actually hate it. Don't keep this update. Tanky Online kept this update. And this happened multiple times. For example, when they came up with a premium system. If you didn't have premium, you would get half the crystals, half the experience points, no bonuses, no nothing. If, on the other hand, you paid $3, you could make everything you did in the game twice as effective for a whole week. Pretty balanced, I would say. Or another cool update. If you wanted to create a clan and play with your friends, you had to pay for it. But don't worry. Not all of their updates were aimed at making money. Some were just outright bad. At some point, for example, they completely ended the concept of lobbies. You couldn't decide anymore on which map or which match you wanted to play. It became completely random and quite annoying, actually. So, by 2016, the game had only about one third of its peak popularity, clearly a sign for the developers to take action. Oh no God! They announced Tanky X, the sequel to Tanky Online and its death blow. Before they released the new game, they milked Tanky Online for all the money it was worth and then left it to die on the road. But even when the game came out, the community preferred it over the new version. Instead of the massive hype for Tanky X they expected, they got nothing. Huh? Nobody really cared. Barely anyone played the new version. They ended up having to take care of and release updates for a game they had abandoned before. After that, it was only a matter of time, until more and more of the remaining players left. Tanky Online. The game I played for hours as a kid. The game I played with my friends. Initially started out as a promising game about tanks. For a browser game, it was remarkably well made. There was a big community who made videos, were active in forums and played together. Slowly, however, the game changed. 
more and more unpopular updates caused more and more players to abandon the game. The community left, and with it, the game I once loved died for good. Now let's ask Alternativa Games, why did you destroy your own creation? I like money. <laughs>